Bearing witness, women whose experiences and determination led to a reckoning. Honourable members. It's dishonourable actions the parliament must confront. In the House and in the Senate, a formal apology. Any bullying, sexual harassment and sexual assault is unacceptable and wrong. We, we say, say sorry. sorry. One man. I am sorry. After another. I am sorry. And another. I join both the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition saying sorry. Offering yeah. contrition. I am so sorry. And to Brittany but Higgins, whose allegation of rape at Parliament House sparked the reflection. I'm sorry to Ms Higgins for the terrible things that took place here. The acknowledgement and apologies from party leaders and parliament itself was the first recommendation of the Jenkins review into parliament's workplace culture. It found one in three women working in parliamentary offices had experienced harassment. We today declare our personal and collective commitment to make the changes required. That requires action beyond today's words. The government will be introducing legislation this week to act on other recommendations in Commissioner Jenkins's report. That includes making workplace discrimination laws apply to Parliament and introducing a code of conduct. As the vast majority of Australian workplaces have codes of conduct in place, it's extraordinary that this place, of all places, is yet to have one. For one former staffer, today is a milestone. It was overwhelming, to be honest. It was definitely a validation. Provided more progress is made. It was important. It was an important step, but it's just the first step. Tomorrow, Brittany Higgins and Grace Tame deliver a national press club address.